All right, guys, so a while back, I picked up this guitar. Really awesome, you know, super strat type guitar, Wolf Guitars, one of my favorite brands. It's a neck through, really cool. It's got a really nice maple top on it. So, you know, I've had this guitar for, I don't know, six months or something like that. And then just recently, I also got this one right here. This is another version of the same guitar from Wolf Guitars. These are called the S1, by the way. And I was looking at these and I realized I now have the perfect opportunity to do the classic tone wood test. These guitars are almost exactly the same except for the woods used. So let's go ahead and open up the can of worms and that ancient guitar player debate and find out if we can hear the difference between the woods used in these guitars. Okay, now guys, obviously, I'm not the first one to do a test like this, but I, you know, I had these two guitars and I just couldn't resist doing this. Now, let me tell you a little bit about these guitars first, and then we'll get into the test and I'll talk about how I'm gonna do the test. So these are both S1 guitars from Wolf Guitars. They are both, you know, neck through, and they are uh, made with uh, maple and walnut in the neck and then ash on the inside of the body. And then the, the difference is just the top and back material on these two guitars. This one has maple, both the front and the back is maple, and this one has walnut. Again, front and back is walnut on this guitar. Now I know you're, you're probably looking at these and you're saying, hey wait, what about the pickups in those guitars? Well, yeah, the neck pickups in these guitars are different. This one actually originally had just a standard single coil and I swapped out a dual rail uh, single coil sized humbucker in there. Uh, so basically, I'm just not going to use the neck pickups for the test, but the, the bridge and middle pickups on these guitars are exactly the same. And also the, you know, the pots and the switches and the control layout is the same as well. Now, everything else, again, other than the woods used uh, and that pickup that I'm not gonna use, everything else is the same. It's the same strings on both of these guitars, the same fretboard material, fret size, you know, the tuners, all that stuff is exactly the same. As far as the tones that I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna hook up the guitars to my Fender GTX 100. I'm gonna use a few different uh, presets from that amplifier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to play a riff on one guitar and then unplug it and plug the cable into the other guitar and play the same thing. So that way, you know, I'm not gonna risk uh, changing the amp settings between guitars or anything like that. Now, traditional guitar science tells us that the guitar with maple is going to sound brighter and the walnut guitar is going to sound darker. But I want you guys to listen really closely and tell me if you can truly hear a difference. Hopefully you can listen with headphones or some kind of hi-fi setup or something like that. But I'm really curious if we are gonna hear any difference at all or if they're basically going to sound exactly the same. I've wanted to do one of these tests for a while, and now that I've got these two awesome guitars that are so similar, except for the wood, I can finally do this kind of a test. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and get started with the test, but real quick, as always, if you enjoy videos like this and you enjoy content like this and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. All right guys, let's plug in the first guitar and check out how they sound.
All right, guys. So now, honestly, tell me, could you hear a tone difference between these two guitars? I want to be totally straight with you guys. I really couldn't hear, you know, any real noticeable difference between the two guitars. Now, that being said, I've been listening to V8s with open headers for most of my life. So maybe my ears are just a little bit shot. So if you guys disagree with me, if you do hear a difference, please let me know in the comments section below. And if you hear a difference, what sort of a difference do you hear? Is it the classic maple is brighter difference or is it something else? Now, I will say that the maple guitar definitely feels heavier. Uh, it's not super, super heavy, but it's, it definitely feels heavier than the walnut one. As far as playability, they both feel exactly the same. I mean, these guitars both play really, really great. Uh, they're definitely both full on shred guitars with low action and everything you want to uh, do your amazing blazing solos. And I kind of do have to admit, I think I've really warmed up to this one a little bit just because the guitar is a little bit lighter. Uh, and I like the idea of having it routed out for a full-size humbucker pickup in the neck position. But this one still just looks so cool with that maple top. Anyway, guys, uh, again, I really want to know what you guys thought, you know, if you hear any tone differences or anything like that. I can't wait to read the comment section. It's probably going to be total chaos down there. As always, guys, I'm going to put links down in the video description below if you want to check out more info about these guitars or the amplifier that I used or anything like that. I'll also have links down there for my instructional video. I've got a new 1980s themed instructional video out. There's a 50% off link down there if you want to check that out. And uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.